जी प्यारा जी हारे हो जी प्यारा जी सोहारीज उगतो नाथी अरे हो जी दादा जी अरे हो जी दादा जी तमारा वीना क्या गोठ तो न थी जगत कु संगे जदू के बड़ सत संगे जसू केवड़ सत संगे जसू दादा जी नु हस तो मुख दादा जी हस तो समे दर्शन था तो हीरा मोती मारा ही समृद्ध सतिया वीना दल डोठर तू न थी समृद्ध सतिया वीना दल डोठर तू न थी हारे हो जी दादा जी हारे हो जी दादा जी तमारा वीना क्या गोठ तू न थी तमारा वीना क्या गोठ तू न थी भर मालुख लागे सत संग वीना सुनु लागे वीना सुनु लागे बेर हो दिवस रात जागे दिवस रात जागे ज्ञानी भवनी भावट भांगे ज्ञानी भवनी भावट भांगे रोको अति क्रमण जी रोको अति क्रमण जी क्रमण बीना क्या रूज तू न थी हारे हो जी दादा जी हारे हो जी दादा जी हारे हो जी प्यारा जी हारे हो जी प्यारा जी जय सच ओके अभी वी हैव टू ऐड थ्री मोर ओके तो काली कोट किसको मालूम है आता है मैं मोनिका नहीं आता है बस ओ अक्षय का आपके पास इंग्लिश में है हो वाले और दोनों जरा पॉज करना इंग्लिश में और खुशी आप करने वाला तो कभी नहीं क्या हो इन कोट टोपी वाला नहीं मालूम मोनिका ओके मालूम है 
तो ओ ओ अभी ऐड करने का है ओके फोर्थ वन और अक्षिका का दूसरा ऐसा दो ढूंढने का है ओके तो वी लेव सिक्स एवरीडे वन डिफरेंट ओके आह नव कलमो Hey, Chennai, don't do together, okay? Do separately. So, Kushi, ah, uh, man, Shreya, number one. Kushi, number two. Number three, Monica. Ah, uh, ah, uh, Karishma. Four, Monica. Five, Didi. Six. Shreya, yeah, ऐसे बोलने का, okay? जय सचिदानंद हे दादा भगवान मने कोई पन दे दादी जी बात मानो किंचित मातपन अहम न दुभाए न दुभावा के दुभावा प्रत्येक न अनमोदाए इन्हीं परम शक्ति आपो मने कोई पन दे दादी जी बात मानो किंचित मातपन अहम न दुभाए इन्हीं सेवादवाद वाणी सेवादवाद वर्तन अन्य सेवादवाद मनन करवानी परम शक्ति आपो हे दादा भगवान मने कोई पन दरम नो किंचित मात्र पन धर्मार्थ नो दुबे न दुबावाई के दुबुआ प्रतिमा अनुभवाई एवि परम शक्ति आपो मने कोई पन दरम नो किंचित मात्र पन परमार्थ नो दुबे एवि शाद्वाद मानी शाद्वाद वर्तन अने शाद्वाद मनन करवानी परम शक्ति आपो मने कोई पन देहदारी उपदेशक साधु साधिया आचार्य नो अवनवाद अप्रात अविनय न करनी परम शक्ति आपो हे दादा भगवान मने कोई पन थे तारी जीवात न थे प्रति हे सर्वमा करण अभाव पुरस्कार न किया जाय न करवाया जाय तथा के प्रति न अनुमोदय हे वि परम शक्ति आपो 5 नव निधि जी जी नंबर 6 या हे दादा भगवान मने कोई पन दहदारी जीवात मा साथे क्या रे पन कठोर बासा तंतीली बासा न बोलाए न बोलावाए के बोलवा प्रते न नमोदाए एवी परम शक्ति आपो कोई कठोर बासा तंतीली बासा बोले तो मने रुदु रुजु बासा बोलवानी शक्ति आपो हे सच्चिदानंद हे दादा भगवान मने कोई पन देधारी जीवात मा प्रत्ये स्त्री पुरुष गण नपु संग गम्य ते लिंगधारी होय तो तेना संबंध मा किंचित मा तपन विषय विकार संबंधी दोषो इच्छाओ चेष्टाओ के विचार संबंधी दोषो न कराय न करावाय के करता प्रत्येक न अनमोदाय एवि परम शक्ति आपो मने निरंतर निर्वेकार रहवानी परम शक्ति आपो जिनाय सब सब साथ में बाद में जिया हे दादा भगवान मने मने कोई पन रस मा लुप्त पनो न कराय एवी परम शक्ति आपो मने समरसी खोरा परम शक्ति आपो जिया दीदी हां हे दादा भगवान मने कोई पन दे धारी जीवात मानो प्रत्यक्ष अगर परोक्ष जीवन दग मृत्यु पामेला नो कोई नो किंचित मात्र पण अहम न दुबाय अमळवाद अपराद अविनय न कराय न करावाय की करता प्रत्ये न अनुमोदाय एवी परम शक्ति आपो ए दिव्या ए अक्षय का का पुलिस आने ने फोन कर जो ना दिव्या नंबर नाइन है ज़्यादा फ़ोन दम दमकल मरे दमकल कयान को आनु मिस बनवाने परम चक्चा पर चक्चा पर चक्चा पर ओके ये दीदी नौ कलम आ त्रि मंत्र बुलाइए हाँ नमो उवजायानम नमो उवजायानम नमो लोए सवसाहुनम नमो लोए सवसाहुनम ऐसो पंचनमुक्कारो 
Eso, Pancho ya no me no me paro. सचिदान ओके डेली प्रेयर चिनाय मुझे पढ़ाई में समझने में जो बाधा या अंतराय आते हैं जो भी ऑब्स्ट्रक्शन आते हैं उन सभी को तोड़ने का मैं दृढ़ निश्चय करता हूँ आप ऐसी कृपा करें जिससे मेरे दर्शन ऊपर के आवरण टूट जाए और मेरी पढ़ाई सही ढंग से हो ऐसी पराम शक्ति आप हमें दे जय सचिदानंद दिव्या हमने आपके बच्चे आपके बच्चे Today, with my guru, mummy, I said one time no because 
I had project to be done with my friends. So she asked me for help in her household. So I was not able to do because me and my friends are doing the project. And uh, I said yes for two times. But while doing for doing while walking, I said some harsh words. That's why my mom got sad. And with Guru Papa, I doesn't say any note there. So what did you, Mama? What happened? Yeah, Mama gave me to do mock work. So uh, I said yes, I will do. Then I, I, when I was doing, she asked me some questions. So I replied in angrily, so she got upset. How could you do that when Guruji asked you to talk? Okay, the uh, police aren't is here, so. Darsal, uh. you are making noise. Okay, while we are waiting for Pulidanji, who knows the first code of conduct? Nobody knows what's the code of conduct? Kevin? You don't know first code of conduct? I think I uh, never heard any living thing through my mind, speech, and body. Is what? I never heard any living thing through my mind, speech, and body. You need to know the everything. Do you know the whole thing? Okay, let's do the separate opera, separation prayer, Dada Bhagwan. Kevil in English. You are separate body self, Kevil is separate. Oh, pure soul, Dada Bhagwan. You are a real body self, Kevil is relative. Oh, pure soul, Dada Bhagwan. You are permanent body self, Kevil is temporary. Rhea, do you know the separation prayer? Okay, you need to learn that, okay? Okay, Daksh, Hindi. Yes. Hindi, man. Dada Bhagwan ka prayer, malo me apko? Ha? Ha, boli hai. Padai wali. Ha? Kwanthi. Okay, I have Darsal Bible, like Darsal Bible. Okay, Okay, Jay Sajan Pulanji. Pulitanji. We cannot we cannot hear you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, fine. Yes. Okay. Uh, Pulinanji, we are doing an experiment on our behavior with Guru in the home. Everybody is uh, Papa, Mama, brothers are Gurus, so we'll hear their experience. Okay, Monica Didi. Thank you, Chidane. Today, with my Guru Mummy, I said one time no in her health because I had project to do with my friends. So she asked for help. So in second time, when she, when I over my project, she asked for in help in, to do mopping. So I told yes, but while doing mopping, she asked me questions. So 
So I replied in angry, but so he got upset. Okay, charisma. Okay, more than Hindi may bol sakta up, okay. Mami Guru Mamiko or Guru Monika Diko or Guru Kushi Diko Nyaj eight bar Nabola tha. Uh, guru Papa ko or Guru Mami ko mene haan bola tha. Kushi. Jai Shuchi Today I told yeah, five times yes to my mommy and two times yes to my Guru Papa and one time no to Guru Didi because she asked me to study uh, but I have lot of homeworks to write to her so I uh, yes to my told no to her. And uh, one time yes to her. Shriya Didi. Sanjay Sachidan, I told one time yes to my Guru Mummy and one time no to also Guru Mummy. Uh, while I was packing my bag, my mummy was asking me questions about uh, school. So I told her that you ask me later. So my mummy is ego got hurt and yes uh, she told me to come to the store with her to buy things okay now didi jay sachidanand i obeyed my guru nani and guru mummy okay kaval um i i said yes to to my, uh, guru dad and guru mummy darsal Sanjay Satyanand, today I had said two times, two times yes to my Guru Mother and two times yes to my Guru Father. Okay, very good. Jiya Didi, Daksh. Yes, Satyanand, I told Mammi to say yes to my mother and I told her yes. Or I told my mother to say yes, but I didn't say yes. Who did you say? Didi. Who did you say? Why you said no? He was in the temple. I got a pen and I got a pen. He said that he was a pen. So I told him to give him a pen. Okay, Didi. I told mommy to yours and uh, I angry with my brother. I will tell you. Oh. Okay, why were you angry? Good. As I like chance. As I like. He don't read and uh, Hindi. Okay, they so listen I... to you. Okay. Ria Didi. Riya ne aaje baat nathi karvi, thodi sharmai chhe. So, please. Can you say Jai Sachidana? Yes, Jai Sachidana. Loudly, please. Jai Sachidana. Jai Sachidana. Okay. Police Anandji, you heard children interaction with Guru Mama, Guru Papa, Guru Didi. So you can talk to talk about it. Uh. Well, some Abta Uttras may have mentioned this before. Uh, one key thing that the Bhagwan had said, as far as uh, Guru Papa, Guru Mami, that anyone serves them. Okay? So anyone who serves their father, mother, and maybe Guru, or spiritual guide, who gives us guidance on the spiritual path, he will never suffer in life. If you can keep them happy or make them happy, then you will never be unhappy in your life, relative life. Because those are the people who have taken a lot of pains 
in giving birth to you in raising you up behind attending you physically mentally emotionally you know so one can never forget their obligation avat se na aave sir no nobody no 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 maybe monica someone are going to think this way somebody other koi no nahi aavo to mane aave se to okay so uh, uh one can never forget the obligation of one's parents uh it's a very very important principle very very important principle. so whatever generally speaking parents do it is in the best interest of the children they undergo a lot of sacrifices to fulfill your needs in raising you up so one can never forget the uh, obligation of parents and that can only be done by serving them seva that is serving in seva now if you have this understanding at the back of your mind that our parents have done a lot of sacrifices in raising us up then automatically you will have a lot of respect for them and you will see to it that you don't hurt them now you may have difference of opinion with them they may have they may insist on some things to be done immediately some household chores they may insist on your homework they may insist on you not going for playing out or whatever reasons but bear one thing in mind if they are saying something it is for your interest you may disagree i am not saying you should agree but then you have to find out a working compromise that mama i will not do this work now i will do it later on so see to it that they whatever they say is also taken care of and at the same time whatever you want is also taken care of if there is a clash between your priority and their priority or your this thing and this in that case see what is the best you can do for them if you have a high regard for them you are you are greatly indebted to them you know uh gano bodo upkar jene kahe na so if that is there then automatically your behavior will be good so if you have that thinking at the back of your mind then maybe all these things will not happen occasionally you may say no and all that but then see to it that you do that work if not immediately little later on maybe later on your parents are not your enemies your parents are not your enemies so keep that in mind anybody okay. has a question for purindada monica why don't you uh, tell your reaction that mama why you busy mama says something and you become angry yeah while mummy gave me a work i was doing that then she while doing the work she asked me some questions so i replied in angrily so she got upset ha so this is you see this may happen this may happen but then you have to learn you have to learn to reply politely yes you have to learn it. that is why all that now the all what are all the prayers you are saying what is the use of all the prayers you are saying that you don't want to hurt anybody mind word speech maybe you are you are you have prayed about some you know now alums also in the past yes. this, uh, so then where is all that gone where is all that gone each prayer any one prayer also if you really do it heartily na then you don't need anything else in life even if you decide that i will not hurt my parents and elders 
by mind, speech and body. Just keep that as your goal. Finish. And if that is your goal, then this will not happen. What is happening is, not in you in particular, in general, now I'm saying in general, that you people sometimes follow your parents or whatever we are saying in satsang, do this prayer, do this. So you do it mechanically because you have been told, because you feel it is a good thing. Parents also are happy about it. Oh, my daughter, son, I is doing this prayer. So you do it. But it is not coming from the bottom of your heart. You are praying because you are asked to pray, but not that you agree with the prayer. The day, it, the day you agree with the prayer, or it becomes your personal prayer, yes, I don't want to hurt because if I hurt elders, I will be hurt in return. Hence, I don't want to hurt. Now, that decision has not come from you people. You are saying because you think it is good and because your elders want it. The day you decide, no, no, come what may I don't want to hurt, then none of you will have any of these complaints. Yeah. So, all I'm requesting is that whatever is, uh, whatever is being told to you in these satsangs, by way of prayers, by way of doing this and that, see how much of it you really agree. And if it appeals to your heart, then you have to take it heartily or seriously. And if it becomes your goal that you don't want to hurt, today it is not your goal. Today you have been told, so you are doing it. Given a choice, you would not do it. Suppose you are not attending satsang. Suppose in Radhanidha, the Rapta Bhutas were not telling you, don't do this, don't do this. Then you have not done anything of this. You would just go the way you feel it, things are right. Tum apni man mani karte the. Tum dusro ki sunte hi nahi the. Udha dabao aya hai, isliye dusro ki sun rahe. ये दबाव को सही समझ में कन्वर्ट करो कन्वर्ट दिस वट एवर हेज बीन टॉट टू यू एंड ट्राई टू इंटरनालाइज इट अपने अंदर उतारने की कोशिश करो योर इंटेलेक्ट मस्ट एग्री टू इट योर हार्ट मस्ट एग्री टू इट एंड इफ इट इज नॉट एग्रीन फॉर सम रीजन देन आस्क दो क्वेश्चन वाई यू डोंट एग्री पत्नी दादा और अब तो पुत्र एक्स वाई जेड is telling me to do this but i don't agree or my i don't feel like doing it my mind doesn't allow me to do it ask such pointed questions and get answers to those questions the day any of the prayer goes down heartily i tell you you don't need anything else you don't need anything else today there is a conflict between what you really want to do and what has been asked you by you to do you not ha uh, in your case monika Maybe you didn't want to do that work, but mommy has told you, so you're doing it. Maybe what answer will I give at today at nine o'clock to Gurni Dada? That is why you're doing it. Yeah. And and you you didn't want to do it, but you're doing it. And in that, if mommy asks you something, you block because inside you are irritated. You're not happy with what you're doing. So that's why you sometimes blow out. I don't know whether, huh? Yes, that's the reason I. Don't want to do it, but I was doing it. I know that's exactly what I'm saying. It's happening with all of you. It happens. It happens. I'm not saying you are wrong. I'm only identifying why, in spite of all these prayers, uh, you are still unsatisfied, dissatisfied. You are also dissatisfied in spite of doing all this. You see? I don't blame anybody. I'm just, I'm just trying to analyze what's happening. Yes. So, so the crux is trying to understand why I should do what my uh, mother is saying, or as you call it, uh, what are you calling this? Uh, guru, 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 mama, guru, mommy, or guru, papa. You have to understand why you should do what your guru, mommy is doing. Why you should do your why guru, papa is doing. Why you should do what your guru, brother or someone is doing. Unless you understand that. This will only remain as long you are online in satsang. The day this stops, now Padak say you will do what your mind says or what your intellect says. You understand? So, so it, it calls for a little bit of understanding why, why I should do it. Okay. So that will, that will come when you try to understand the other's viewpoint, your guru, mommy's viewpoint, your guru, that daddy's viewpoint, that whether he's saying for my help good or for his good. 
Oh my God. So if 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 your intellect agrees on that, that it is for your good, then this question will come. Yes. So it will take time, but this is the process of trying to change your understanding. It's not a it's not a quick fix solution. It will take time. Slowly, 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 slowly it will happen. One or I am saying even one or even two such. Understandings are internalized. आपका दिल ने कबूल कर लिया हाँ ये बात सही है ये मेरे हित में है पापा राइट है पापा में भी रॉन्ग बट वॉट इज सेंग इज राइट यू मे नॉट लाइक द वे ही है सेड इट यू मे नॉट लाइक द वे ही इंटरेस्ट ही शुड बी डन लाइक दिस मैं करूंगी आराम से करूंगी वाई दारी दैट्स ऑल्सो पॉसिबल एवरीथिंग हाँ सो दैट में हैपन बट इफ यू अंडरस्टैंडिंग वन और टू अंडरस्टैंडिंग मैच विद योर पेरेंट्स ना आई से एटी परसेंट ऑफ योर प्रॉब्लम विद दिस Yeah. So take time to understand why, and if you are not satisfied, ask in the online questions to Dr. Putras. So Papa ne jaise bola leke mere ko to nahi jam rahe. Kya karu? Khali hathoda mar diya. Ab to utrne to tu swikar karna zaruri nahi hai. Abhi khali swikar kar loge to jamega nahi. Line long term nahi tikega. And Dada Bhagwan has only done one thing. He has given a right understanding. Yeah. Which is trying to correct the wrong understanding we have brought, not only for you, even for us, everybody. So it takes time to, it takes time to accept the new understanding. Yeah. This is what all of you should be trying to understand the prayers. Why you are doing? What is the advantage of prayer? Or what is the advantage of whatever decisions you are doing? You are writing a notebook for yourself. Why you are writing the notebook? What do you want to achieve by writing this notebook? What do you want to achieve by doing? This that end goal must be clearly in your mind. Because unless you know what you are going to achieve, you will do it. But after some time, if you don't get the results, it will all go away. Right now you are carrying on because your parents want to do it. Right now you are carrying on because there is a lot of wah 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 for you. Zoom me, everybody is saying, "Arey Shriya, great. Arey Kewal, great. Arey that great. That great, 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 great is motivating you. Nothing wrong. Nothing wrong. It's right. Perfectly right." But it has to convert in that that understanding that you are gaining in the satsang. It has to convert into your partly acceptance of it. I am not saying you may accept everything, but at least two or three key points also. If you accept, na, then that will bring all the remaining points automatically. Yeah, we lost them. Um, Pull it down. Okay. The exercises go. Go. Oh, they are coming back. Okay. Shreya Didi, do you understand? Huh? Huh. You know the mistake you made now of what Dada Pulinda said. Huh? Well, what mistake you made? I shouldn't have told my mommy that I will tell you later. I I should have told my mom at the right point when she asked me to. Okay, very good. Any anybody else has another question? Yeah. Anybody? Okay. So very okay. They are back now. Pulin Dada. Rajni Dada. Yes. Yeah, Kushi has question. Okay, Kushi. Hi, Jai Sachidanand. My question was that whenever my sister or mommy tells me to do any work, I first directly tell them no. Then I tell yes. So they got upset by telling the telling no to them. So what should I do by do not telling them no? Why do you give tell no in the first place? I don't want to do that work. Then I understand my mommy what what she is telling because she is tired. Then I tell yes. Then do she got angry? Why did you tell no first? So that's exactly I said. The my first point was my opening statement was that. Parents are the topmost persons whom you must serve. Mother की सेवा करना उनका उपकार हम ज़िंदगी में कभी नहीं भूल सकते। अगर ये आपके दिमाग में आपके दिल ने इसको accept किया, if your heart accepts this, then you will not say no. Today you feel parents are useless यार क्योंकि they are only there to give food to you, take care of your hobbies, homework, school, bus, and I want to enjoy life. 
you enjoy life but they you are they there is great amount of obligation you know you are under them and by serving them you know you are not only serving them you are serving yourself if you make them happy i can assure you to see of all of the children that you will never be unhappy in your life and you will have people giving you happiness okay so this is the principle now i will give you the proof of it for one week listen properly one week just decide to help your parents to make them happy only for one week no argument kuchhi do this beta do this do it no argument even if you don't like you will get instant happiness just try for one week now that is the proof of the pudding once you experience yourself okay no no this is helping me then you will not leave it then you will continue to do it service to parents is the greatest service you can do to anybody okay kuchi the thinking has to change okay so this is good uh, pulin dada uh, children uh, we will do one one full week of this experiment and then you will decide yourself it is good or bad okay uh, everybody uh, okay what what is the homework for the whole week kushi uh, we should tell yes to our parents instead of no and we will see that uh, we are getting inner happiness or not ha ah, inner happiness very important without anything from the senses nothing from the eyes no inside you will feel happy and also one thing you do not want to hurt your parents okay so please post this on the group okay kushi didi ah uh, okay huh? can you do that yeah okay anybody else on the question kevel you got the homework can you do that okay daksh malum pad gaya homework ha okay very good okay jai sachidan children sachidan okay. we will we will, we will see you tomorrow we'll see you tomorrow Okay, Akshay, bye. I, I need to take a break, so you are in charge. There's no question, unless okay. you want to start with a question. Lalita Ben, you have a question? Can you unmute Lalita Ben? Uh, I, I'll... Yes. Okay, Lalita, any question? Uh, yes, uh, Jai Sachidanan. Yes. I've read your book on the workings of the mind, according to Dada. Mm -hmm. I have a friend who's online right now. She, we, we talk about Dada, but you know, she's uh, interested in knowing more. She has not taken Nyan. For her benefit, could you please? explain how the mind works okay dada bhagwan has uh, given a very nice explanation of what really mind is how do you identify the mind what its function is and and uh, who who are the parents of the mind after that he has also said how you can control the mind so if i may start off what is mind the thoughts that come to us today oh the, the pulidan ek minute okay uh, lalita ben who is your uh, is mira ben there or who is there mira is there and sailia is there okay so uh, okay we'll put them uh, tell them to uh, have their video we'll put them on so they can talk oh there is mira ben okay now you can talk with uh, pulidan ji also okay okay jai satyan pulidan ji हाँ जय सचिन मेरा भाई
Jai Satchidanand Pulinamji. I have actually taken Nyan from Dada um, in 1994. So I have uh, Jai Satchidanand, um, but I, uh, Shaili Ben is here. Um, I think uh, Lali Aunty is talking about Shaili Ben. Jai Satchidanand. Um, Jay Sachidanand, I'm Sailia and um, Dr. Lalita ji actually introduced me to uh, Dada Bhagwan's teachings. And uh, since then I've been uh, <coughs> reading um, Dada's uh, books and uh, I haven't uh, taken the uh, gyans right now, but uh, I'm, um, so I have a couple of questions in the, after reading the books. Yeah, please go on. Oh, can, can I ask the questions right now? Yes. You hear me, right? Yeah. Yeah, so for one of the first thing, the first thing that I want to ask is, uh, how do I uh, handle uh, regrets, any regrets that you might have? Like for instance, I have a regret about uh, not uh, um, hard enough in some say some point in my life. Like I feel like, okay, I, I should have worked more. I should have given more. Um, I've not worked my, my full capacity. I know at some level after uh, Dada Bhagwan's uh, reading his books and everything I can understand at some level that it is not, we are talking about the relative self here, but still um, it does uh, bother me. So how do I deal with this? You see, regrets about the past, regrets about the past, now there, uh, as far as the past is gone, the best we can do is take learnings from it. That whatever we regret that I should have done this, then mm. just take learning that from this, mm. in future, if such a thing happens, I should be doing this. Okay. What has gone is gone. Uh, yes. We must extract the learnings from it. That's all. That what we learned by that experience. That okay. was only to be destined. You see, there is a destiny we have brought, you know. So yes. at, at that point of time, whatever you thought was appropriate action, you did. Incidentally, you feel that was not the thing in hindsight now. Yes. So yes. You, and none of us have any control on that because yes. you were destined to suffer or take an erroneous decision. So that was part of your destiny or par prarab karma, if I may karma, Okay. That you so don't it, have any control over that. Uh, so all I'm saying is you have to now hmm. pacify your intellect who is hmm. bothering you. I wish I had done that. The regrets yes. of it. Yes. So that regret is basically nothing but a, your intellect showing you a wrong thing or a loss that has incurred to you. Yeah. It's an in intellect when you're saying this was a wrong thing you did. Yes. So to pacify that, you have to say that was part of karma that you were destined to suffer. So you took a decision at that point of time, which now you feel in hindsight that was not most appropriate. So all you can do is, all you can do is, if such a thing happens, what should I do now in future? Just extract that, that henceforth such a thing happens, I will do this based on my past experience. Mm -hmm. and forget the past, as simple as that. Yes. Tell the intellect what is gone is gone. It's not going to come back. And by regretting, you are only making your life miserable. Yes. So yes. you must say, oh, oh, intellect, make my life happy. Why are you making me miserable? So you must tell the intellect, now you tell me what the way forward. The way forward is learn from this, decide not to repeat the mistake and march ahead and, and, and focus on the future. Okay. You see, actually speaking, ideally speaking, everyone mm -hmm. should be living in the present moment. Yes. But what happens is this intellect either takes us in the past or it takes us in the future. Okay. Past is what the regret. I should have done that, or the or person X Y Z did not did did not or uh, did not behave properly with me, or did wrong things to me. So either we keep pondering on the past episodes, people, uh, situations, or we keep worrying about the future. What will happen in next? My health, my wealth, my career, my children, my family. Yes. It never allows you to remain in the present. So the moment you catch yourself in either of the two, just pause. Tell us, say whatever mantra or anything you want to say or pray to anywhere God you want to, or you just remember Dada also. Dada, bring me in the present finish. Hmm. 
So from the okay. past, at least you decide. Past, so two things you must say. Past, gone is gone, which cannot be reversed. So forget it. Hmm. But what I can do best, take the learnings from it and decide my future course of action. Okay. And to come out of the past, bring your mind to the future. What I want to do in next? How I want to approach my life? So just divert, divert your attention from the regret. It is stuck hmm. over there into what next hmm. should I be doing. Okay. Maybe not on that particular topic or anything else in future. Hmm. I, I want to do this exercise. I want to do this house renovation. I want to do this career, this savings, this shopping, X, Y, Z. Hmm. Just divert it. That's a, one of the ways of coming out of regret. And once you keep hammering, and it will not happen in one shot. You have to keep hammering, yes. hammering, 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 hammering till it stops. Yes, yes that's it, what I noticed. It, yeah. this is a, a, it's a long-term project. Because it's a habit that has got incalculated in you of going in the past, staying in over there. Mm. So it, that, that habit has to be, you know, to come out of it. Mm. So it'll say it takes some time. H A B I T is habit. The spelling of habit is H A B I T. If you knock off the H, A bit remains. If you knock off A B I T, bit remains. If you knock out the B, it remains. A habit takes long time to erase. That's all I'm trying to say. Okay. Okay. Very nice. Thank you. So that's all. For, for now, I will ask more questions. No, no. See, one minute. This is only about the past. Now, you don't go too much in the future also. That will cause worries. Yes. So, so try slowly, slowly. Catch yourself in the past and come in the present. What am I doing now? I'm doing cooking. I'm reading. I'm doing this. So focus, focus, focus. focus. And so mind keep wanting and then, then chant some mantras or say Radha Bhagavan Asim Jai yes. So that is one of the ways of diverting the mind from the past or present, uh, from past or future in the present. Okay. These are tools to come in the present. Yes. And I want permanent happiness. I want permanent happiness. I want permanent happiness. You must start your own record. So the record of the mind and intellect stops. It'll keep me. Okay. Okay. So this is the moment. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Jai Satchin. Jai Satchin. And wonderful question. We have a lot many questions raised. Mm -hmm. Because it's mind. You know. uh, Vaishali, Jai Satchin. Jai Satchin. Jai Satchin. Jai Satchin. Jai Satchin. Um, my, I have two part question. First one is. Vaishalini in English. Vaishali's prakriti is that, you know, there is all these opportunities and things come about, but there's major FOMO, fear of missing out. So I extend myself to, you know, get almost to a point of getting burned out because I don't want to miss out on an opportunity. So with Gnan's understanding, how do I explain to Vaishali that you're not really missing out. You do the best you can. And my priority should be towards file number one, not on the opportunities that are being presented to me. Opportunities in terms of? In terms of, I'll give you an example. Because I do the social media work, there is an influencer event up in LA that I've been invited to. Now, you know, going to an event where all these big people will be there or successful people will be there. It's about a two and a half hour drive on a Sunday. And then I have somewhere to go early morning tomorrow. So it's a bit of a stretch, but I still want to go because I should be with these people. So I don't know if it's the right thing to do. I mean, there is this where I say, I'll just go and meet them. You've been invited, you know, do your thing and come back. Or do I just say, don't stretch yourself and don't do this? No, that depends how important that event is. That, de that depends on the... <coughs> really speaking, in life, you have some goals, you have some priorities. So go about working on those priorities to the best of your abilities. One will never really miss the most essential things. The state will always put you on the right path. It is the intellect which is giving you this FOMO. Fear of missing out is the function of the buddhi or intellect. So it has, it will be only pacified by experience. If you experience or observe that things, the good things that are happening to you, how opportunities fell into your place, how you got that piece of information in time, how that work got to, took place. So if you see the circumstances which lead you to the right thing, 
the same logic you have to apply there will be circumstances in future also if something right is going to happen to you you will nature will take you over there so don't worry that you're going to miss out you'll never miss out anything but you should not be even lazy you know we should be on your toes also so then it deciding on the priorities as you said a two hour drive and something else to do what is the worth it you know now if that two hours drive is really heart shaking and something very much important for your career then you have to stretch then you have to stretch so it's it's for more you live out in life you will never lose anything basically we must have our goals and priorities decided very clearly in in my career i want 1 2 3 uh, in my personal life i want 1 2 3 them objectives or what this is going to say and then you have to work on those goals to the best of your mind and physical mental and physical abilities permit to you your time permits to you if something doesn't fall into it this does not matter if it's part of ever said it will come to you if it's part of ever said not come to you. so one never really lose frankly speaking one never really loses anything it's all destined but then that that will be only pacified by your hardcore experience so the only way is set high set whatever goals you want to set in relative and real of course nature will do the need fill so that you achieve those goals nature will do it you don't have to worry to do it efforts will be there but that worry part i missed out i will be late that is intellect the viprit buddhi acting and that is giving you burning or suffering but nature will bring me opportunity but do i not have to decipher that is this uh, opportunity that i'm taking it for the right reason for example if i'm going to this event what is my true reason of attending this event is it because i'm going to get man is it because you know hanging out with this big people will bring me more respect or all of that or is it because i truly admire these people and the work they're doing and i want to actually learn something from them so don't i have to have that conversation inside of my head yes, you, uh, yes of course you have to do that you have to do that. what is the real reason of attending the event you see right. if it is beneficial for your career yes but if it's only for mm-hmm. the month then you have to see whether you have the time and energy to do it understand uh, the answer is there with you <laughs> i actually i got my answer as i was talking to you i i understand that so it always has to go down to the true reason why i want to do something then don't worry about the fomo because that's just you know buddhi telling me whatever that is but if it's in alignment with my bigger goals then go for it if it's not don't do it 